hey Britain first, just so you know, halal does not translate into terrorism. Far-right group Britain First have agreed to pay substantial damages to settle a liable claim after they falsely claimed Halal Food Authority or HFA and their staff were involved in funding terrorism. Ben Gallup representing the HFA, Mr Kara and Mr Parka said, There was never any basis for the defendants' allegations and their unequivocal capitulation in the face of the claimant's claim puts that beyond doubt. This fortunate news, however, comes with the unfortunate news that Britain First has made a comeback as a political party. Britain First was deregistered as a political party in 2017 for administrative reasons and since then have put in multiple applications to the Electoral Commission to be re-registered, all of which were rejected until this week. The Electoral Commission said that the applications met all legal requirements, despite leader Paul Golding being convicted of a terrorism-related charge and both him and Deputy Leader Jada Franson being sentenced to prison for religiously aggravated abuse. They first emerged as a political party in 2010 and became notorious for mosque invasions and targeting Muslim-owned butchers and restaurants. These stunts gained hundreds of thousands of views, catapulting their online following into the millions. Even Donald Trump retweeted them. Many are taking to Twitter expressing their shock and dismay at the return of Britain first as a political party, with one Twitter user tweeting, Another utterly tragic day for post-Brexit Britain, as grotesque far-right group Britain first appear to have been formally recognised. Another wrote, Today, remember Joe Cox, the last words she heard were Britain first, we are better than this, in reference to the late MP who was murdered by a member of Britain first. Some may argue that while Britain first have been away, relationships between Muslims and non-Muslims have improved. If that's the case, let's hope that their return doesn't deter that and we continue to establish meaningful relationships across Britain.